Alright, what's up guys? Today, let's go ahead and take a look at another pomade. I know I haven't done a review in a while. A lot of transitions in my life. You guys notice I don't live with James and Van Ann anymore. I freaking miss Luna. But, there, there's just a time for a lot of things. And at this point in time, I have to make some moves and like just live with it. So, let's go ahead and review Imperial Barber Products. Their classic pomade. As you guys know, uh, James did a review of this in the past, decided to give it a try just because James's hair and my hair is pretty different. So let's go ahead and take a look at the jar, the application process, and I know for this pomade, you guys probably know that it's like a gel pomade where it hardens up throughout the day. Um, it's potentially restylable. I don't know that just because I've never tested it out before, but We'll go ahead and take a look at that at the end of the day as well, and then give my overall impressions of the product. So, to start off, let's go ahead and take a look at the jar and the pomade itself. Alright, so the Imperial Classic Pomade comes in a 6 ounce container. Um, that's a little more than what we're used to, but I'm not complaining. So, the actual design of the jar, pretty standard. Um, I give it like a typewriter slash newspaper classic feel to it. It's not too flashy, it's not too standoffish. Um, it just kind of sits quietly in the bathroom in terms of aesthetics. So on the label itself, it's a sticker label on a like clear body with a black lid and their, like, I guess, signet on top. You have a description of the strongest hold, water base for all tight holds and styles, low shine, water reactivable, rinses clean and easy. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that in a little bit and see how it actually lives up to its like marketing standards. But the main thing I really want to test out is the hold strength. It's a 4 out of 4 on their scale. We'll see like what the scale consists of. Knowing that my hair is pretty... It has like it just does its own thing pretty much. Alright, you have your directions, ingredients on the side. Nothing too crazy. Um, I'm sure you guys are all used to it by now. but. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the pomade looks like. So, translucent, uh, clear, there's no visible color, like, agent that's used to, like, dye the product. So, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and scoop it out and see what it can do. And, there you go. Fairly easy to scoop out. Let's go ahead and apply the product to our hair. Opening up the jar, you're going to get this, like, whiff of... I want to say like citrus, almost fresh kind of scent. Definitely chemically made. You're not going to get this natural kind of like musky or like fruity scent from it. It's, I would say it smells something along the lines of like walking down like the hair aisle of like Target or something where it's just like you just get this whiff of aroma of like, I don't know, man-made products. So let's go ahead and apply it to our hair product itself scoots out fairly easily, no resistance whatsoever. Let's see, my hair is fairly dry at this point. Um, it does say to apply to damp hair if you want like a little more flexibility and if you want to apply it to dry hair, basically apply more product so that you get a stronger hold. Essentially, the more water you have in your hair, the easier or I would say the styling process itself might just work out better. But for reference, my hair right now is fairly dry. So I'll probably use about two licks of this product. So <clears throat> one thing I'm like considering doing is like a very tight slick back at this point, just because with my experience for most gel based products, uh, if you want something loose or more natural looking, this isn't like a suitable product just because it hardens up and it just holds your hair tightly in place. So for today, let's go ahead and do like, almost like a comb over here slash like slick back. And if you guys notice, I'm pretty much rocking the Macklemore slash undercut because my brother decided, yo, let's go to a Korean stylist. Told her what I wanted. I wanted like a, basically a fade up to a blend to basically, what's it called, thinning out the back of my hair just because like that's how I usually get it cut. 
she didn't listen to me. She was just like, all right, I got you. Next thing I know, most of my sides were gone. Um, it's just different. It's not that I don't like it, but there's no blending. As you guys can see, one thing I'm grateful for is she kept the top long. So we'll go ahead and work with that and see what happens. All right. Did I say two licks or three licks earlier? I totally forgot, but two and a half, just because I feel like I need a little extra on the back. All right. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of shine right now, but once the water or the pretty much <coughs> all the liquid dries up, you're going to get left with a very low shine like result. So, let's see. Combing it fairly easy. Um, there's a little bit of resistance just because my hair is a little bit tangled. But I do see that once you have water in your hair, the comb just glides through smoothly. So I'll continue working on improving this format, but right now I'm living. My bad. I'm living in a situation where there's not too much space. Alright, so let's go ahead and form the little poppy. So one thing with this haircut that I've noticed is the back is really hard to kind of style with the front just because there's so much of a disconnect, but we'll see what we can do. Um, as you guys can see, the pomade is holding up fairly well. Right now, it's still in the process of drying up. So we'll see what result we get in a little bit. Right now, I'm pretty satisfied with what I've gotten so far. But let's go ahead and check in a little bit and I'll see what the endurance is like. Let's see if we can restyle it and essentially how it washes out. But from my experience, I already know it washes out fairly easily, but I'll go ahead and mention that later again in the video. Alright, there we go. She is so disconnected! Alright, see you guys in a bit. Alright, what's up squad? Um, it's been about 4 to 5 hours now. I'd say today was about like 80 to 85 degrees, so fairly hot. Um, Good thing SoCal isn't too humid, especially where I'm from, like Orange County area. What is good about this pomade, endurance-wise, it basically lasts all day. As long as you avoid moisture. So I don't know how well it will perform in a humid environment, but with what we have in the OC, it works perfectly fine. One upside, or many people have seen like a downside to it, is the like crispiness that you get from like these gel type pomades. What I like about it is I can count on it. Like, you know, once you style your hair, 10 to 15 minutes has passed, it basically solidifies, turns into like almost like a hard shell cap. Some people don't like that. It dries out their hair, it dries out their scalp. I haven't had an issue with it, so maybe I'm not applying too much product, but for me, it's worked out perfectly fine in terms of like the strength and endurance. Um, my hair basically hasn't moved since getting in the car. Um, I had to fix a little bit of my waves just because once I started sweating, I definitely felt as if the product was like breaking down a little bit. However, nothing that I couldn't fix. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how it reapplies. I'll be right back, I'll get some water. So, ran my hand through water, just finger combed it real quick. Ran the comb through water, and then now let's go ahead and see how it restyles. Um, essentially, the product is being brought back to its like kind of its niche, its initial state. It's got water; you can comb it easily, and definitely, I still feel the presence of the product itself, just to a lesser degree. I don't know if the strength is still going to be there, but we'll go ahead and see it. Like, we're going to take like a, maybe like a thirty-minute break, and see once the water dries up what's going to happen to your hair because in my experience basically my hair falls apart 
especially not like to diss Suavecito or anything, but once Suavecito dries up and my hair gets like messed up in any way, it's pretty hard to fix it. Like I would have to use water, more product, and then restyle. But with this product, I'm seeing the potential of it being able to restyle with just water. And essentially just keep its integrity as if it were being used like in the beginning, if that makes sense. So right now I do see the slickness is still there, but let's go ahead and take like a 30 minute break or like even an hour and see how this kind of like performs. All right, see you guys in a little bit. So right off the bat, see strays already coming out. I do see my hair falling a little bit out of place, but that was a given considering that the pomade is a water-based product. It's supposed to wash out within one shower and it does. And by introducing water to it, you definitely are breaking down what's in your hair. So one way to fix it, more product. But at this point in time in the day, I'm calling it quits. I, you can definitely just get by by like restyling with water and it'll stay there. Like for me, it stayed like this for the last like 45 minutes. And I'm fairly impressed. Um, Imperial's Classic Pomade does live up to what it's advertised as. I would say it's definitely a strong hold once it's like frozen or like once it dries out. You'll, I would say for some, a lot of people, you get like that dryness in the hair, you get that dryness in the scalp, but for me, again, I don't get that. So, for all tight holds and styles, yes, you definitely do get that. Water base, yeah, strongest hold. I haven't honestly tried too many of these gel type pomades to really verify that, but so far, it's I would say it's on par with like Suavecito or like Shiner Gold and rinses clean and easy. Yes, it's, I would say one shower, you're basically done. Like everything's gone and water reactivable. It's not even worth, but yes, to a slight degree, like you can definitely comb it. You can definitely restyle it, but if you want it to be at the same level as your initial styling, then I would suggest more product. For me, I can get away with this. I have thick, wavy hair. So, there you guys have it. Until next time, take care. Peace. I'll give you guys one last glimpse. Admire that undercut. Just kidding. I'm really hoping my hair grows back fast.